Hey folks, this is Corey Zolt, recording for Nuts and Zolts. I was being a little cheeky on the uh, Kerbal Space Program fan page on Facebook about if uh, a specific low-performance system would be able to run Kerbal Space Program. And the reason I say I was being cheeky was because I am indeed running a uh, Kerbal Space Program on that platform. Uh, the reason I brought it to people's attention was because I personally like to run missions that can span weeks, uh, just as kind of my own personal challenge. Right now, I'm running a plane that's been flying for two Kerbal days and three hours, so that's effectively 15 hours. As you can see, it's barely put a dent in the fuel tank. So you can imagine that a plane like that could take weeks to fly, especially since as altitude increases, as fuel goes down, uh, fuel flow goes down, so actually kind of gets exponentially more efficient as it goes. So if you imagine trying to do that on like a high performance computer, something with a beefy graphics card and a beefy CPU uh, running 500 watts of power, you can see how that would probably be an expensive mistake. So I do a lot of embedded system design, playing with like Raspberry Pis and uh, Tinker Boards and Bugle Boards and all the boards. Yet another uh, embedded system I have is this AMD-based embedded system. Uh, it's running, a, it's a single board computer on an ITX uh, motherboard platform with the CPU actually built in. It's kind of like a an AMD laptop CPU, but it's actually for the embedded market. Uh, this is an E350 CPU. It's an AMD 64 based computer, so it runs Intel based 64 bit operating systems. Um, and you can see that it is a 1600 megahertz computer, and it's one of the first APUs. It's actually a little old, but it's one of the first APUs. And you can see that it has an 80 shader core, nearly 500 megahertz GPU. However, these two speeds and all these numbers are a little bit deceiving because what really controls the performance of this computer is its TDP, or thermal design power, which is 18 watts. So if you can imagine your 100 to 200 watt uh, heavy duty CPUs that you would have for a gaming rig, the entire computer is running in the neighborhood of 25 watts. Um, if your performance uh, brings the computer to a point where it's consuming more power than that, it actually clocks it back down. So these systems aren't limited by their clock frequency. They're limited by their power use. But because I'm running these long-term flights, I really don't want to have a computer that's just filling my house with heat for no good reason, except for my own like personal vanity of running awesome airplanes for really, really, really long times. Um, so I decided that I would make the most bare bones Kerbal Space Program computer possible. And when I mentioned this online, I got some verbal insubordination from people that it was impossible and that I was uh, deceiving people, uh, to put it lightly. Um, I wanted to shoot a video, but also because I think it's it's neat and interesting to explore minimum hardware platforms uh, and understand what's going on uh, or what can be done because we're starting to get to an era where you can do things like Steamcast or some of these other things, which I've not experimented with. I really do want to play with these things, but basically having a dedicated computer for playing, uh, except you remote control it, which is interesting. So I could run this potentially forever. And when I want to see how my plane is doing, connect to it from another device like my phone. So these are all very interesting things, and I thought this was worthwhile to explore and demonstrate. This uh, entire system 
is running on uh, Lubuntu, which is, of course, an Ubuntu derivative. It's the same thing as Ubuntu, but running different uh, uh, graphical user interfaces or desktop managers. And uh, I wanted to show the processes over here, what's actually going on, so you can see that I'm indeed running only Kerbal Space Program. This computer is dedicated to Kerbal Space Program and nothing else. Go ahead and close that now. Uh, but also I wanted to show that indeed I am running on a system I described. There we go. And there we can see that, yeah, it's the AMD E3500. Uh, I'm sorry, E350. And the reason why getting around with such a pain is because I'm using this cute little guy that you can barely see because my lights are off. And I'm shooting this on my phone, of course, because trying to record full screen video while playing a video game on this anemic system would be kind of dumb and definitely wouldn't demonstrate how it performs. And as you can see, it performs pretty well. Um, you know, popping in and out of things. You know, there I'm in the in the world view, and now I'm back to the flight view. So that works pretty well for such a thin computer. Anyways, that's what I wanted to demonstrate. This has been Corey Zolt with Nuts and Zolts. Bye.